figure shows a slider crank mechanism actually we need to draw the figure f is equal to 2 kilo newton force acting on slider oa crank length 100 mm ab connecting rod length 450 mm crank angle is 120 degree here our aim is to find torque for static equilibrium so first we need to draw the slider crank mechanism we need to draw a slider crank mechanism by using actual measurement let me tell you how to draw the configuration diagram first draw a horizontal line then mark point O from point O draw an inclined line of 120 degree here 120 degree represent crank angle mark point A on inclined line here OA equal to 100 mm but it's very difficult to draw 100 mm on A4 sheet because the diagram looks bigger so we will use 1 centimeter we will take 100 mm equal to 1 centimeter scale then from point A draw an arc which cuts the horizontal line here the length of the uh, arc 450 mm we already taken 10, 100 mm as 1 centimeter which means 450 mm equal to 4.5 centimeter now connect A and B add slider at point B then add 2 kilo Newton along the horizontal direction so this is the given slider crank mechanism we have to draw the actual diagram by measurement now I am going to add the list of force acting on different uh, parts. Here there are four parts link one, fixed. Again, here this will also link one because here the slider move only horizontal direction. There will not be any motion along vertical direction. Then link two crank, link three connecting rod, link four slider here the known force 2 kilo Newton given so I'm going to start from this end this is an input and this is an output here there is an output of torque T so we need to find this value T so we are starting from another end this is an input end first I'm going to mark F14 force offered by fixed link on connecting rod here one represent force offered by link 1 4 represent force offered by link 1 on 4 so this is F14 there will not be any vertical movement of slider so there must be a resistant force along the vertical direction that will be marked by F14 then there are two forces F34 and F43 both are equal just opposite here F34 represent force offered by connecting rod on slider force offered by 3 on 4 3 represent connecting rod 4 represent slider whereas F43 represent force offered by sli slider on connecting rod both are same only thing is while drawing the free body diagram of slider we have to ensure that force should be on second parameter so all the forces acting on slider like that we have to confirm so F14 F34 we have to use if you draw a free body diagram for connecting rod then we should use F43 so whatever the uh, part that you want to draw a free body diagram then the corresponding part number should appear second so that is a point here both are same f43 f34 both are same only thing is change in direction when you draw a free body diagram for slider always ensure that all the forces are acting on slider 4 in that case we cannot use f43 while drawing the free body diagram of slider because f43 means force acting on force offered by slider 4 slider 
on connecting rod. But when you draw a free body diagram for slider, we have to ensure that that corresponding force should act on slider. So we have to use only F34 while drawing the free body diagram of slider. Whether but when you draw a free body diagram for connecting rod, then you have to use F43. Similarly, and the other end, you have two forces F23. F23 represent force offered by crank to on connecting rod. So that will be represented by this symbol. Then F32 that represent force offered by connecting rod 3 on 2. So that will be represented by this symbol. Okay. So this is how you have to draw free body diagram for connecting rod. Then the last one free body diagram mean force acting on crank. Sometimes what you do you will draw a line like this and you will represent as F12. So this is wrong because from this point to this point there is no rotary motion but see here there is a rotary motion torque so torque means moment moment means two parallel opposite forces so this is force 1 F32 then opposite force F12 so we have to draw F12 parallel to F32 in the opposite direction see the direction of F32 upward so F12 should be downward then both should be parallel okay place a scale here then move parallelly towards this end and it should pass us through this point so like that you have to choose uh, let me erase this parameter you have to choose F12 F12 parallel to F32 and opposite to F32 then only it will create a force here the moment will be like this in this direction this is moment whereas torque opposite to moment so it will we are using this direction the question itself the direction clockwise then we have to draw forces on anti-clockwise so this is the free body diagram of given slider crank mechanism now we will move on to uh, individual free body diagram so this is the same free body diagram what we have seen here you just copy the free body diagram now I'm going to draw an individual free body diagram first I'm going to draw the free body diagram of slider why specifically draw the free body diagram of slider because here the force to of 2 kilo Newton known but you see all the places none of the forces are known so we will start from this end first draw 2 kilo Newton just copy this line to this end and mark it as 2 kilo Newton then mark 1 for f14 copy this line next I need to copy either f34 or f43 as I explained in the previous slide we have to use f34 because whenever you draw a free body diagram for slider then the forces should always act on slider so here 4 is a slider so 4 should act on 4 so this is F34 force offered by connecting rod on slider so we should use this so this just copy this line to this end so you will get a line like this so you just copy F34 here 2 kilo Newton here and F14 here so that's it so now we have a free body diagram for a slider 4 let me resolve this diagram first move 2 kilo Newton here mark 2 kilo Newton as 2 centimeter okay mark it as 2 centimeter next move F14 at the end of 2 kilo Newton like this there is no magnitude for F14 so we can take a line a line of action then move F34 to the starting point of this point you just place a roller scale and move this line it will move like this now the F34 cut F14 at your point 
so that is my uh, f14 you just measure this point you will get f14 you just measure this point you will get f34 if you measure f34 you will get 2.01 newton so this is the value of f34 just measure this distance you will get close to 2 centimeter so that will be equal to 2.04 newton kilo newton since we have taken 2 kilo newton as 2 centimeter we will take 2.04 centimeter as 2.04 kilo newton so now we got f34 next i am going to draw the free body diagram for connecting rod so four completed now we are moving on to three so this is three so we have already used this one so i can eliminate that part next i am for connecting rod three should be at the end so here i have three at the end again here i have three at the end so i'm going to move this point to here and this force to this point so now i have two forces f23 f43 so we already know f34 2.04 kilo newton so f43 just opposite of f34 this is minus 2.04 kilo newton then f43 opposite to f23 so this should be plus 2.04 kilo newton okay so now we are moving on to first I mean second uh, free body diagram link to link to crank so this is crank here we have a clockwise rotation of torque and this is a fixed point one so there is no need to draw a separate free body diagram for one since it is a fixed we can keep it as one here itself now I'm going to copy f32 so copy f32 here then copy f12 okay here both are parallel opposite just measure this distance using scale we'll get a third line you will get 75 so you will get 0.75 centimeter or 7.75 mm you will get 0.75 mm okay we will take 7.75 mm as uh, 75 mm because we have uh, earlier we have taken 100 mm as 1 centimeter so 75 mm is equal to 0.75 centimeter so this is a scale factor okay so now we can find torque so what is torque F32 into H so what is F32 f34 equal to f34 equal to minus of f43 see the direction of f43 and f34 so f34 and f43 both are opposite so f34 equal to minus f43 again that is equal to minus of f32 again that is equal to f23 so what we need is f32 we already note f34 so f34 equal to minus f32 then f32 equal to minus of f34 so minus of f34 minus so minus 2.04 into 75 you will get minus 153 kilo newton mm so this is the value of torque acting on crank don't forget to post your questions in the command box you can also mention the topics which you expect from my channel subscribe my channel and like my video to support my video lecture